Okay, so some really, really weird stuff appears to be going on on YouTube, I guess now and, and in the past, which is all especially egregious to those non-leftists who have had their channels demonetized, targeted, delisted, banned, shut down, suspended, and so on, while YouTube has been investing an enormous amount of resources playing whack-a-mole with Michelle Malkin videos critical of Islam, they have been also trying to demonetize, delegitimize, and delist non-leftist vloggers. And it has been catastrophic for a lot of people on the right uh, how this has gone down. So they clearly have the incentive and the intention to police their own site. It just seems like they've really been focused on non-leftist political content rather than, say, pedophilia. So there are a number of ways in which this is emerging. Uh, one, of course, is that there are these cruelty to children videos that are occurring where children are being tied up. It's simulated, I got, I hope it's simulated torture and so on, highly sexualized uh, situations, you know, creepy, don't leave the kids alone with that distant third cousin kind of stuff that's going on. Hard to police, right? Hundreds of hours of video footage uploaded to YouTube every day. It is tough to monitor, but um, there have apparently been hundreds, if not thousands, of channels that have been implicated in this. And this is not stuff with just a few views. This is stuff with tens and tens of millions of views, so stuff that's way up there in terms of visibility. Very, very creepy stuff. Clearly, I would argue, designed to appeal to the creeps who find children sexually attractive. So there's that. There's also, in the comments section, underneath videos uploaded by children a lot of times, there is, you know, contact me with phone numbers, with emails, and urgings for the children to do sexual stuff. That is far easier to find because it's text-based. You know, I used to be a database programmer. I know how to look for text. This kind of stuff is there. And, and listen, parents, why is your child on YouTube? Like, why is your child on YouTube? This should be highly monitored. Please don't let them have comments. I mean, who knows what creeps are out there trying to find them. Just, I mean, I can understand it, you know, if you're Justin Bieber and you're singing away and so on, if it's part of your career or something that you need to do that way, I can kind of understand it. But parents, don't let your kids have YouTube channels. Certainly monitor if you do. If there's some dire necessity, then monitor everything. Don't allow for comments. There's a lot of creepy stuff going on. And I'm telling you, it would not be hard. I've already had like a dozen ideas on how to figure this stuff out. So there's that aspect as well. So there's the creepy videos, big money items, big ad items, lots of money being made from these creepy videos. There are the videos also that have children's characters in them, but of course are not made by the studios who actually own the characters. What happens is you have some children's character that then ends up going on some hyper-sexualized narrative journey. Or they get the teeth pulled out. There's simulated pregnancies and abortions. There's just really nasty stuff. And a lot of this stuff, of course, goes under the radar of the YouTube children's app. And therefore, it's really, uh, it ends up inflicting itself on your kids because, you know, they're watching some suggested video comes up and then two videos down, they find one of these horrible videos. Now, YouTube, of course, is leaping into action, is starting to deal with all of this stuff. But I've read stuff online. I've read stuff online where activists and people concerned with children's welfare claim that they have been attempting, striving, working hard to bring this information to the attention of YouTube for at least four years. Four years! YouTube has been ignoring or downplaying or bypassing. If these people are telling the truth, they have been ignoring calls to police pedophilic style content on their platform. But then when advertisers are threatening to uh, pull out, and some of them have pulled out because people are saying, look, here's this creepy um, video of children being tied up, bound in duct tape, horrible things. And, you know, this particular ad is playing in front of it. And of course, the um, the advertisers are, are appalled at all of this. So there's all of this going on. Some of it, you could say, well, it's kind of tough to police. Other parts of it, particularly the comments, no, 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 no. No, not that tough to police. Not that tough to police. I've also heard that sometimes some people say that the flagging system 
is not working very well or as well as it should, and uh, it is horrendous stuff. But what came up today, which is why I'm talking about this right now, what came up today is something of an entirely different character completely. So if you go onto uh, YouTube and you're not signed in, right, not signed in, and you type in the phrase, how to have S, it's appalling what comes up. So I'll go from the bottom, right? How to have S. It's how to have straight hair, how to have soft hair, how to have self-confidence, how to have sexier body, how to have superpowers, how to have swag, how to have SE, and then with S, asterisk X, how to have sex in school, number three. Number two, how to have sex kids. And number one, on the YouTube search algorithm, how to have sex with your kids. Number one. YouTube, what the fuck is going on over there? What are you people doing? You have time and a half to go and hound political content you find objectionable, to demonetize, to delist, to delegitimize those channels, to destroy people's hard-won intellectual labor and build up of their channels and their audiences. You have time for all of that. You don't have time to review or fix this? Are you saying nobody has brought this to your attention before? Is it only when something comes out of the mainstream media that, that this matters to you, that you care about this at all? It's horrible. This is absolutely horrible, horrible stuff. There is uh, lots of people talking about this on Twitter. You don't even have to have how to have S. If you put in this is um, uh, on uh, a, uh, a YouTube search. And if you type in how to have the number one item that is auto-suggested, how to have sex with your kids, number one, how to have, not even with the S, how to have. That is absolutely appalling. That is absolutely appalling. Uh, this is on, on um, uh, a browser, how to have. How to have sex with your kids, how to have sex kids, how to have your first kiss, a lucid dream, clear skin. I mean, come on, come on. This, is, this cannot be something that is coming out of nowhere. How to have. And someone has done it where they've just done how to have, as in how to H-A-V. They haven't even done the E. And the number one, the number one. Result is how to have sex with your kids, how to have sex kids. I, I'm i appalled. Is this something that is completely unknown to anyone? Has no one ever complained about this before? Is there no capacity to have figured this out in the past? Has no one complained? No one said, oh my God, I don't even know what to say. What the fuck is going on over there? The swamp, let's just say, the swamp is kind of deeper, kind of wider, and frankly, I think a lot closer than any of us ever suspected. So please, let YouTube know about this. We need some answers coming out of this group. How is it that you had months and months and untold amounts of labor? To police, harass, demonetize, delegitimize, shut down conservative speakers, right-wing speakers, but not to have a look at this pedophile nest deep in the heart of YouTube that seems to have its tentacles just about everywhere. Please let them know. Get it done. And let's find out.